What's up everybody? How's it going today? I am going to be painting and I thought I'd show you what I'm up to. So I'm going to set up the tripod and show you as I paint uh, these bent neck ladies. So I'm going to be painting these hands and the heads and uh, try not to mess it up. But I'm going to start with this one here because this one is a test piece. It's cast super thin so it's just, you know, barely anything. Um, yep, and we'll see how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and gather up the equipment and my supplies and then I'll show you what I got cooked. Okay, so I'm in the spray booth and I've got the head set up on some turntables that'll make it really easy to move them around. And you'll see Ant did a good job of coloring this somewhat to like a basic skin tone, a really light skin tone. And then in the eye, you see he actually intrinsically colored the eye white, so don't have to mess with that as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop a little latex into that eye and that latex will just peel off later and that's just going to act as a uh, you know as a mask so that I don't overpaint it. But yeah I got all three on their lazy Susans. I don't know why Susan is so lazy but there they are and then that's the one I'm going to test on just for getting the process down colors mixed and all that and then I'll just do these all at the same time. Although I don't think I'm going to get to this today I think I'm just going to get everything set up. I had a meeting for a job and then um, I had some stuff with the car, and so I think I can do these tomorrow, and I'll, I'll film that for you guys. And then these are all the arms. I'm going to figure out how to mount these, so let me go grab a rack, and I'll show you how I kind of mount and try to paint these things. Uh, my brother kind of showed me how to do this, so Chris is a very good painter. All right. All right, so now I've got my little rolling rack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some stuff. Are we, it's called bailing wire. And I'm going to wrap bailing wire around this part here because it's not going to get painted and it's a natural undercut so it'll grab. And then uh, I'm just going to hang them from the rack. But what I think I might do is actually run a really fine screw or something or like a nut and bolt there, like right here in the fingers. That way I can actually run a little more bailing wire down to the bottom and actually have like one hand coming to that one, one hand going off to that one, and then just kind of zigzag across it. That way I've got a little extra room to paint. And that second wire keeps it from just like jingling around and being, you know, hard to work around. So, all right, I'm going to get to work. But first, I actually got to go run to Home Depot. So why don't you guys come with me? So funny enough, I thought I shot the video part where I was like, oh, I'm going to go run to Home Depot because today's kind of changed. I got some help and uh, I'm going to go pick up some Luan. So anyways, here's all the stuff for me picking up the Luan. Okay, I'm in Home Depot. Now I just need to find one of those things. Let's see if we can find one real quick. All right, found a cart. Time to find the Luan. Okay. The, the cheap stuff. There it is, the cheap stuff. Mission accomplished. I got all the wood, but I got to race back because I am definitely a little behind schedule and Javier is coming to meet me at the shop to uh, help with the next level of, uh, of building. All right, see you soon. You know that as soon as I'm in a rush to go anywhere, there's gonna be traffic. On a side road, this is crazy. I'm literally going like five miles an hour. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. I'm definitely gonna have to cut out that audio though. <laughs> What's up, Javier? Javi came to uh, help me finish the skin on this ant and I did two of the sections. Uh, and actually Javi came in one day to help with the, uh, I think it was that one. And then Javi and I just did that one together. Uh, got a little gapping. We have a, a little problem here. The Luan is such a funny size, it causes some pulling. But we've got a fix for that, I think. So I'll tell you about that later. But anyways, check this out, it's so cool. <sighs> okay, that feels good to at least get one whole piece done, but boy, I gotta tell you, a little disappointed about the gapping. I know 100% that it's because we, you know, had 
we were doing the pieces individually on the ground and then put them together. And I think we were trying to like get the edges to line up and that put some tension in places we didn't mean to. And unfortunately we glued everything. So it's kind of stuck that way, but I think there's a good way for us to cheat it both like from a support uh, like standpoint to make sure it's all perfectly safe. But then also there's an easy way for me to like cover that up with dressing because it's a wrecked airplane. So I've got some ideas. But I do know how I'm going to do the other two sections. I'm going to do them all as one unit. So the whole, like the whole U shape of the hull, I'm going to do it at once. And then that way I can just cheat all of my weird stuff without uh, accidentally throwing off the shape and making sure that it all sits together really flush and perfect. Um, and luckily I'm going to be fixing some of this with things like, um, you know, because we're going to be fiberglassing the hull. So it shouldn't be a big deal because I can just like easily put in some shims, uh, glue them in place, and then like finish off that fiberglass. You'll never know that there's that weird difference. But anywho, that's it for me today. Um, I know I was gonna show you more about the painting stuff, but um, Javi was able to come and give me a hand with the, the plane. And it's actually been a lot harder to get help because I'm teaching and a lot of people are going back to work on set, which is great news. Um, so it's just kind of slowing down the whole progress a bit. Anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. It means a lot to us and does a lot for our channel. And hit the bell notification. We literally post every single day with very few, few failures. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys come back and see us again. And uh, look forward to showing you more of the painting stuff tomorrow. Uh, well, I guess my next day will, will be Aunt Jonah. Thursday. All right, guys. See you later.